In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix upper back popping and cracking sounds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're noticing a lot of clicking, popping, cracking sounds in the upper back and need a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to break this up into a very easy three-part guide. In the first part, we're going to focus on soft tissue release, that is really targeting muscle tightness, muscle spasms, knots, trigger points, you name it. In the second part, we're going to get everything moving with very good stretching exercises. And in the third part, we're going to focus on making everything stronger in the upper back with very good strengthening exercises. And all of this together hopefully will lead to a lot less issues with those sounds in the future. All of these exercises can be done at home. They're very easy to do and very effective. So let's get started and get rid of those popping and cracking sounds in the upper back right now. This video is going to be broken up into three parts that all work together. So make sure to go through all parts and exercises and really notice which exercises are the most effective and go with those. In the first part, we're going to focus on a big cause of clicking, cracking, and popping sounds in the upper back, which is soft tissue tightness. A lot of times the tendons, especially with the muscles, get tight and when they start to move, they will snap. So what I'm going to do is show you the $1 muscle fix. What I'm going to be using is a racquetball. If you don't have a racquetball, you can also use a tennis ball, a golf ball, anything that's round, even a baseball. But I'm going to put it in a pillowcase. You can also use a trash bag or a large sock. Why this is so effective is because when you try to focus on the upper back, especially in between the shoulder blades, it's a very hard area to hit. So this is how we're going to make it easy. Let's throw the ball over our shoulder like this and go next to a wall or a door. What I'm going to do is lower or raise this to the point where I'm going over a spot that I feel that popping or clicking sound. From there, I'm going to lean my upper body weight into the door of the wall and then start a self massage. What I like to do is I just like to take my upper body and go side to side. I put enough pressure in there to cause a massage but not to cause discomfort, only go to your comfort level. You want to do this very slowly for about 15 seconds. From there, relax, and then do it a couple more times. From there, I'm going to go up and down with it. I'm going to attack it at a different angle. What you'll notice is this really just helps get more of a release into that spot. From there, go at a 45 degree angle with it. You can also do circular motions, but really explore the area. Attack it differently and just do 15 seconds, relax, and throw in more repetitions until you feel that spot release. From there, raise or lower it or switch to the other side as needed. So one of the best ways to target the upper back is with a foam roller. This is a 24 inch foam roller that I got locally. You can also get these easily online at Amazon. They're a very good investment and they're very inexpensive. If you don't have a foam roller, you can also do a substitute with a soup can. What I do is I just place it in a large bath towel wrap it up like this and voila, you have a homemade foam roller. So what makes foam rolling so great for getting rid of popping and cracking sounds in the upper back is because not only is it going to focus on loosening up the soft tissue, those tight muscles, but it's also going to help open up the joint spaces for a self pop, crack, or mobilization. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Let's start off on the floor. We're going to position our foam roller right here, right in the upper back. When you do this, only focus on the middle and upper backs, not over the lower back because that can cause irritation. So the movement is very simple. Laying on our back like this, I'm just going to lift my butt up. And when you do this, you're going to feel your upper body weight go into the foam roller. So I just start by rolling up and down my middle and upper back very, very slowly. When you do this, you might feel a pop or crack immediately. It's just opening up those joint spaces and the gas between those joints is just rapidly leaving. That is completely normal. But what you want to do is just nice, slow movements for about five times up and down. And then focus on the spots that you do notice a lot of those sounds coming from. So let's say that it's right here on me. What I do is I go a little bit below that and then I'm going to go just a little bit above roll up and down that spot a couple more times to really focus on getting a lot of that muscle tightness out. From there, what I'd like to do is I go over the spot that I'm feeling any clicks, pops, things like that. Put our arms straight like this, overlap them to the point where you're almost going to clap, and then just bring the arm down as much as you can. When you do this, it's going to cause extension in the upper back and open up those joint spaces just a little bit more. And then I just simply roll up and down 
Again, when you do this, you're going to notice that the muscles are activated, so I do hope that it gets rid of tension just a little bit more. If you still feel like it's just not wanting to release, you can put your hands behind your head like this and then just simply go over the spot where you're feeling the clicking and then wean the elbows down very quickly. I don't know if you actually heard that right there over the microphone, but I did get a nice little bit of a release into the upper back. You can also put the arms straight like this lower them down and do the same thing. Just try to wing the elbows down towards the floor as much as you can. What that does is it opens up the joint space and you might find that it just helps get rid of those popping and cracking sounds. So do a before and after and see if it helps. So here is a great way to release the upper back if you don't have a foam roller or one that you can just do pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to be using a sturdy foldable chair for this. You just need a chair that has a nice solid back and does not have wheels. Also put a towel on the top of the chair right here for extra comfort. This method, I'm sure you probably found out accidentally maybe in grade school. So I'm just going to position the spot that I'm having a lot of clicking or snapping sounds and just put my body weight into that spot in the back of the chair. I'm then going to take my hands, place them on the back of the head like this. Let's start off by just tucking the chin just a little bit like this and then I'm going to wing the elbows back as far as I can. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot of tension being built into the upper back, almost like the shoulder blades are pinching together. Wing those elbows back as far as you can. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean my upper body into it, and it should really isolate that spot. If there is a lot of tightness, you might get an immediate pop, crack, or release into that spot. Again, it's just gases being released. But you just want to hold this position for about 10 seconds. You're just going to relax, and then you're going to do this three to five times. Each time you do it, really just try to bring the elbows back as far as you can and challenge yourself to open up the back. If it still feels like it does not want to open up or release, this is what we can do. Let's go back into that original position, but what I'm going to do is quickly wing my elbows back just like that. And when you do that, you're going to feel a lot of movement into the upper back and you might get a self-release. But you just want to focus on doing this to your comfort level only. And then from there, switch spots as needed. Go up and down with it. And again, do a before and after and see if you're still getting those clicking, popping, or snapping sounds. In the second part, we're going to focus on another big cause of popping and cracking sounds in the upper back, which is lack of joint mobility. The joints are just locked up. So this one's going to be very good for anybody that has arthritis that might be causing crepitus. We're going to start off on the floor. So let's put a towel or pillow underneath our knees for extra comfort. I'm going to be using an office chair, one on wheels, just like this. So the movement is very simple. I'm going to do a modified yoga pose called the child's pose, but we're going to add a little bit of a twist on it to really focus on the upper back. So movement, very simple. Let's take two fingers, tuck our chin like this, and I'm going to lower the butt while I extend the chair out like this in a nice fluid motion. When you do this, you're going to feel a great stretch throughout the back, probably all the way from the upper back to the tailbone. Go down with your butt as far as you can and press out the chair as far as you can. Once you feel a very comfortable stretch, hold this for about 15 to 20 seconds and do nice slow controlled breathing. Really try to focus on letting tension out. And then from there, just take a breather and then repeat. On the next repetition, go a little bit further with it. Drive the butt down further and the chair out further. Challenge yourself to open up those joint spaces as much as you can. But from there, you're going to want to do three to five repetitions. What I'd like to do is a dynamic movement with this too to really target the muscles a little bit more. So I'm going to take the chair out just a little bit slightly, probably about 20 degrees. And I'm going to repeat this. So what you're going to notice that the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. But you want to focus on, again, letting the tension out, repeating that three to five times, switching a little bit more over, and then repeating. Go as far as you can. And once you're done, go to the other side and really just focus on targeting those muscles. If you do notice that one certain spot is really achy or might be the site of the popping and clicking sound, really make note of that and throw more repetitions in at that particular angle to hopefully work out that tension and get rid of those sounds. But just go through all of the motions, target the ones that need it the most, and hopefully it does make a big difference. So here is a great upper back stretching exercise that you can do at home, at work, pretty much anywhere. It doesn't require any equipment 
other than a door or a wall, so I hope you have that. Let's go next to a door. Let's put our feet together, space the feet about a foot away. From there, I'm just going to lean into the door with my upper body weight. Let's create an anchor by driving our upper body weight into our elbows into that door just like this. We want to make sure that we have very good posture in the back too. Take two fingers, let's do a chin tuck. The next movement is very easy. What I'm going to do is take one arm off, put the back side of the hand and the arm flush against that door of the wall and then slide it away from me. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot of rotation being built into the upper back. Reach out as far as you're able to until you feel a great stretch into the upper back. Hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax. You're going to come back and then you're just going to repeat on the other side. Do nice, slow, controlled breathing while you do this too to let tension out. On the next repetition, try to challenge yourself by going even further with it. Really try to reach out. But you want to do this for three to five repetitions on both sides. Let's say that you do notice that one certain spot, like if I reach out right here, I start to feel that clicking into the back. Make note of that. Throw more repetitions in during this movement right here to hopefully get that tension out that may lead to less cracking. One of the best ways to get rid of popping and cracking sounds in the upper back is to strengthen it. So here is a wonderful exercise that will not only help strengthen the upper back, but it may lead to better posture as well. And it's kind of fun to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and put them out like this to the point where they're almost going to be able to clap. Let's bend the fingers like this to make hooks and then interlock our fingers. My elbows are then going to drive outwards while I fight at my fingertips. So when you do this, really challenge yourself to pull those elbows out and resist against it as much as you can. And you're going to feel the upper back muscles really start to fire. What you want to do from there is then bring the elbows backwards as much as you can. You should feel that your shoulder blades in the back are pinching. Really drive those back as far as you can throughout this whole exercise and really challenge yourself. From there, let's do a slight chin tuck to make sure that we have good neck posture too. Movement from there, very simple. I'm just going to take my elbows from side to side as much as I can. And when you do this, again, you're going to feel the muscles activate in the upper back. Do this very, very slowly for about 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then go up and then I'm going to go down. Attack it at a different angle. It's going to allow the muscles to get challenged even more. 10 to 15 repetitions and then you're going to go at a 45 degree angle. Up and down in all degrees like this. And then I'd like to do a nice circular motion like this. And then go in a clockwise, so counter and then clockwise positions. You might notice that one position, let's say it's going up like this, I'm starting to get just, it feels weak to me. I make note of that and I try to throw more repetitions in there to really help strengthen those muscles, especially with a weakness. If you do notice that one certain movement, maybe when I'm doing the circle like this in a counterclockwise uh, fashion, starts to cause clicking in the upper back, do the same thing. Really just focus on that movement. Drive through it very, very slowly. Try to bring the elbows back as much as you can and challenge yourself. Throw more repetitions in and hopefully you'll feel it not only release, but actually get stronger through that movement, which may lead to less popping, cracking, and clicking sounds in the future. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.